Good morning, class family. It's a wonderful Wednesday. Let's go ahead and look at our message together. Are you ready? Show me that you are a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. <gasps> We're almost done with the month of April. Let's go ahead and read the date together. Are you ready? April 28th, 2021. Dear class family, today is Wednesday. First, we will be writing a story. Then we will learn how writers add details to pictures. Next, we will add a setting and feelings to the story. Last, we will go to art class today. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, let's look back at the message. Are you ready? Okay, do you remember what the date is? If you remember, say it out loud right now. Put your microphone button on and say it. All right, let's all say it together. Are you ready? April 28th, 2021. If you remember, that's the date. Go ahead and kiss your brain. Let's go ahead and now look at the first telling sentence. Today is Wednesday. What day of the week are we on? Hmm. Look back at this sentence. Do you remember? It is Wednesday. Pat yourself on the back. Notice the capital W like W wind W. We always capitalize the days of the week. So that's why we have a capital W for Wednesday. Let's look at the next telling sentence to see what we're doing for language arts today. First, we will be writing a story. Oh, we will, class family. And remember, good writers use special materials. Some of the things that are important for you to get are a pencil, crayons, and many sheets of paper. Okay, class family, you're going to be writing a story and make sure you have more than one sheet in case you need to continue the story past the first page. Okay, so make sure you have these special supplies so that you are able to write your story today. And we're going to start with our picture. Let's look here. Then we will learn how writers add details to pictures. Oh, we will. That's what good writers do. They add special details to the pictures to show some important things. For example, next we will add a setting and feelings to the story. So good writers add details to their pictures like the setting where and when the story takes place. They also add feelings. So if there's characters in your story, you gotta think, hmm, are they feeling happy or sad or anxious or mad or excited? You're gonna draw that expression and show it on your picture. Also, we gotta think about the action that the person is making. What are they doing in your story? Last, we will go to art class today. Love, Miss Joyner. We will have art class and remember, you'll need the same things for art. You'll need your crayons, pencil, and paper. So make sure you have more than one sheet of paper and have these materials for language arts and for art class later on today with Miss Allen. All right, you're going to be a great communicator all day long in school. Make sure that you speak clearly and in a way so that others can understand you. Put your microphone button on so that the class family can hear you. And when you're sharing your work, your video camera so that we can see it. All right, let's have a fantastic day. Get your fans ready. Fan. Fantastic.